Welcome to the region of Mercer. Our party has gathered on the west coast of the region, near the fair town of Garen's Rest. In our party, we have two characters, Dynamo the fierce fighter and Pierre the radical ranger. I created these characters in the intro screen, which you can experience for yourself once you download this game from the link in the description below. Let's check where we're up to on the quest log. Oh, that's right, we have to find the Earl's daughter. She's been captured by bandits. If you ever get stuck in your playthroughs, don't forget to check out the help buttons for information on how the maps work, questing works, and how the battle mechanics work. Now, let's get questing. Based on the quest log, we should try to make our way towards Brackle White. Oh no, our first battle. We've been interrupted by bandits. There looks to be two of them, a bandit warrior and a bandit archer. Let's roll initiative to see who goes first. The battle mechanics in Mercer are D&D light, meaning that outcomes are based on the character stats, the enemy stats, and random dice roll. For more info, check out the help and info buttons. We now need to choose our targets and our movement. We need to get our fighter within range, but keep our ranger at a distance. First up, it's the fighter, who moves forward six meters, rolls a successful attack turn, and hits for five damage. Dynamo gets a good hit on the bandit archer, who is down to six health. Pear hits with her arrow, downing the bandit warrior. Let's change our targets now to the bandit archer. Oh, that was a clutch shot there by Pear, who takes down the archer. And that marks our first successful battle, where we get some good XP. I'm a little bit worried about Pear's health, so let's head back to Garen's rest and restore our HP. Another battle, this time it's some goblins. Now let's split our targets, get Dynamo running in and Pear shooting from a distance. That is some good initiative rolls. Pear is up first. Pear gets the first hit in, taking out the second goblin warrior with a clutch arrow. Let's change her target to the other goblin. The goblin gets a good hit away on Dynamo. Whoops, our party seems to be getting quite weak on health now. Dynamo with a dodgy miss. Pear with a miss as well, not good, not good. Another strong hit on Dynamo, we can only survive one more of these hits. And that's Pear again with the finishing blow. Another victory, and a good opportunity to rest up. Let's head out again and get to Brackle White this time. Another group of goblins. A bigger range this time, they're at quite a distance. Right, there's our initiative roll. We need Pear to move this time so that she can get within range of her longbow. Dynamo rushes forward. And so does the goblin. Pear hits, clutch again, the goblin warrior is down. Let's change our target to the shooter for both of our party members. Dynamo again rushes forward. again down goes the shooter and that is our third victory onwards to brackle white i wonder if we can actually get there without finding some more combat boom here we are looks like we're heading in the right direction for the bandits our next destination should probably be harling cove Ooh, look at that a level up that should mean we hit harder but also that there's new enemies on the map and let's leave it there don't want to spoil too much hopefully that's enough of a taste Download the game by following the link in the description below and explore Mercer for yourself. For those not interested in battle, there's also a secondary game type, where battles are removed and the game only focuses on mapping and questing. Let me know in the comments below what game I should make next. Don't forget to check out some of the previous games I have made as well. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on what I make next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.